Johnson here again. I just wanted to talk briefly again about this wonderful tool called the Sand Dune Stepper. It is great for recovery from brain injuries. And as, as you, most of you may know, I suffered one about four years ago. And I still have a few problems that I deal with uh, in regards to post-concussion syndrome. Lots of times they can linger on with people. And it, everybody's different depending on the hit, the force of impact, and where they are where they are struck and what they are struggling with on a day-to-day -day basis. And not only so, it's also great for Parkinson's patients, overall fitness, and every anybody suffering from joint issues or autoimmune diseases because this helps engage your limbic system. And what it does, it mimics uh, you walking on the beach and you have proprioceptors on your body to help you to know where you are at in time and space when you just go about your, your life walking around and moving. And you have exoreceptors on your feet uh, all over um, that are like sensory perceptors. They pick up some things as touch, pain, sensations, and everything relates to the, relates to the brain. And, and it acts as like a neural feedback. And it's such a portable tool. It comes with this handy bag so you can bring it anywhere. And it has a high and a low side, so you can mimic walking up the hill and down. And it's labeled right here on this. And, and it's great for uh, fitness because it engages your core and your muscles, and it helps with overall strength and endurance. Now, as far as for brain injuries go, a lot of times when you have a brain injury, you're impacted in a way where you have to relearn things. You might start to have difficulty walking um, and just moving around because your, your, your sensations are off, your, your balance, you don't really know where you're at in time and space, you might have proprioception issues such as myself. And what this does, it's, it's a really um, dense product and because it mimics walking um, on, on sand on the beach, it hits everything on your feet. So it's best when you walk on this with bare feet so you are just like it, it's good to do barefoot walking on the ground so you you can just you know do some earthing and your body can can absorb everything and relate it to your brain such as the same thing with this so it will hit everything from your heel your arch your toes all the way up and it sends the signals to your brain in this neural feedback loop so it helps regain those connections that are lost due to a brain injury uh, where you may have damage to your neurons and stretched axons and you don't you no longer have those connections and it makes it difficult and where you can tip and have balance issues so you can start walking either uphill or downhill and just walk from heel to toe to kind of uh, get the movements down and this is great since my last video I've improved so much on this and even overall, since the brain injury itself, I, my whole world went to the right. I had difficulty even walking, my speech. Uh, when I get symptomatic, I slow down. It's hard uh, with reading or formulating words. You know they're there, but you're trying to pull them from some large file. So while your body shuts other non-important things down to keep your vital organs functioning, you, you have these problems and it can make it difficult dealing in your daily activities. So this, again, is such a great recovery tool. And um, I could do so much better on this now than, than before. I was really overwhelmed when I first got on because of the sensations relating and traveling up to your brain and back down to help your body learn where it's at. What you wanna do is make sure when you get on, you have your center of gravity to have your balance. It's good to have something close by to grab onto. Um, I'm pretty good at this now, but when you first get on, if you do have some type of brain injury, I would recommend having something to hold on to in case you lose you your balance, just like with anything. And when you go to, for physical therapy with brain injuries, they'll have you practice balancing and balancing on one foot, and this is great for that. You can do that for like a hold of 30 seconds or so. And how this works with, while it engages, you can do slow movements, walking, and you can really engage everything and re help make those connections. And you can alternate and do some quick movements, and then you can slow it down again. And that just mimics your everyday life. If you have to ever move quickly, this helps prepare your body to be able to do so. And you can add in a quick pivot 
you know, just like in real life, if you have to get out of the way for something, if a bicycle is coming down towards you on, on a path, you have to think fast to move out of the way. So when you do these quick pivots, it re-engages your brain where you're at, along with all your proprioceptors. And then, you know, a quick pivot back. And it's great for the fitness industry as well, you know, for squats. And because of the high and low, you can help maintain a good alignment with your body when, when you squat down because you don't really want your knees going over your toes. When you have the high side in front, it's perfect for that. Perfect for push-ups as well. Uh, like I said, you could take turns going quick movements and then slow and just doing these exercises on here. Five minutes, maybe three or four times a day will really increase your benefits so much so you'll notice a big change uh, just how you relate to your world and your surroundings and wherever you find where you're where you're where you're, where you're going when you're, you're walking along uh, you get comfortable in your own environment in your own house and if you do tend to lean to one side or tip you may notice that you kind of hug the wall and you, you touch as you go because you know they're your familiar surroundings and balance but when you're in a different situation you walk into another building outside or a store you have all, <clears throat> all excuse me all this stimuli coming in that can bombard you and overwhelm you so this helps helps with the recovery of that and realigns your body and your systems um, to to better flow with everything and this is also great for uh, autoimmune dis disorders lots of times with um, there's so much of that now you look around everybody uh, see, it seems like almost everybody has some sort of autoimmune disorder coming in. It's so much from the diet, really. Um, a lot of environmental chemicals, molds, even parasites, but also injuries because there's an inflammatory process that goes on. And if you have a brain injury, that's a huge inflammatory process within your brain. And if you have damage, say, like with myself, I had damage to the hypothalamus, and the pituitary gland, which made for a disconnect to the adrenals and which sent me into adrenal fatigue and caused a lot, a host of problems, fluctuating hormones at, um, and, and skyrocketing uh, some key hormones at dangerous levels, which set the stage for an autoimmune disease. But with this, this also helps that once you're past your acute stage of a head injury, of a traumatic brain injury and if you go on and where you seem to be suffering from post-concussion syndrome and it lingers and you, you may find the doctors really don't know why you still have these problems you, you tip you balance you have brain fog you slow down um, it's best to have your hormonal levels checked and not only the hormones but also your vitamin D and even if they think you have an autoimmune uh, disorder developing uh, to even test for that to see if you have uh, a sensitivity to gluten or something that is going to trigger that in your diet. You may have to remove things completely out of your diet that will trigger these. This, once you are really, you're not in the acute stages of a brain disorder or a brain uh, injury because you don't want your brain to bounce around inside your skull any more than it already has with all the bony protrudents to damage it any further, you can just do something simple as just when you do a quick um, weightless feeling on here, that helps reset the limbic system and actually has a benefit for autoimmune disease. So this is just such a great, uh, great tool. This is, if, this is from uh, the sand dune stepper. Uh, dot com and this is from my uh, friend Matt Dahl that was so gracious to send this and if you're interested in looking him up check it out because this is really really great I've um, you know I feel like look what I can do <laughs> if you watch my my old video I was so overwhelmed of what I could do and couldn't do on here and now I could just you know I mean able to move on here and talk at the same time and not tip off <laughs> so this is really fantastic in my book so that was just a quick tip um, on this and another thing to help uh, in the lines of uh, injury and um, you know never lose hope you can you can keep going uh, you know you could recovery takes uh, takes time 
you just have to learn patience and you know face your giants head on don't be fearful uh, there's a lot of people a lot of tools a lot of little things tidbits that can help you through the day and um, take advantage of them have a great day god bless Soledad Gloria